Alright, this is a weekly reading for Virgo. My room is very cold right now. It got really cold at night, so I don't have a problem. But, um, anyway, if you, <laughs> if you hear, like, me trying to breathe or something, know that I'm freezing. I'm wearing my sweatshirt and my sweatpants, and I'm still freezing, so. And it's the middle of summer. Summer. Summer solstice. Um, but anyway. Yes. So, I do have a playlist for you, and I do have channeled messages after the reading. So, let's do one of the songs off the playlist. We have Ariana Grande with Stuck With You. So, fun. Fun songs. Anyway, <laughs> so there there might be a little bit of um, feeling stuck in a situation. But anyway, so let's get into the reading. So you right now is going to be the Three of Pentacles in reverse. My cat's calling his... My, <laughs> my brother's calling his cat outside. Oh, my brain doesn't work when I'm cold. Anyway, so the three of pentacles, uh, let's see, you right now, uh, conflicts in practical life, not being a good teammate in love. They're fun. <laughs> You're probably like, I don't know. Uh, You're probably just as disgruntled as I am being freezing cold in the middle of summer. Summer solstice shit. Anyway, so number two, the week's theme. Four of Cups. Four of Cups is bored in love life, lack of excitement in a relationship, selfishness, isolation, apathy, loneliness, a recluse, lack of social skills, separation. So, you might be not feeling it, you might be in a relationship you don't like, you might be single for a long period of time, and not really know how to communicate with the opposite sex, which is totally fine, I'm, you know, I'm a girl and I've had some weird conversations with guys, and they've had some weird conversations with me, so yeah, I, I, I totally get that, like, you know, I do get a lot of questions on how to, like, talk to the opposite sex, I'm like, just go up to him, slap him on the fucking back of the head, and go, what's up? It usually works. Don't do that to a girl, though. She'd fucking kill you. But anyway. <laughs> Words of advice. But yes, basically act like an individual that exists when you talk to another person. Basically. Um, I like to, you know, just just be really awkward. So, it works, too. Anyway, so, number three, your challenge of the week, which is the death card in reverse. Um, so, divorce, breakups, periods of depression, fear of changes, holding on, excuse me, death of a relative or loved one, inevitable ending, um, uh, stagnation and decay. So... This could be difficult because maybe you're getting a divorce, maybe you want a divorce, maybe you're separated. Maybe somebody in your family died, which is very sad. But something is pulling you away from your current relationship or a potential relationship because you just don't want to deal with other people right now. You don't want to deal with pretension, which I get. It's fun um, to be, like to your own devices. So, anyway, we have number four. Number four is Lesson to Remember. We have the Emperor. The Emperor, uh, your rise to power. Powerful people have interest in you. A stable future, authority, intuition, structure, control, fatherhood, achieving goals. So you might be achieving a lot of goals that you set for yourself. Maybe you're getting lost in work. I do that sometimes too. Um, but yeah, you're just like, you know, trying to get that cash, I guess. 
with me, I kind of drift. All my greatest ideas come from me just being crazy. You have to let yourself be crazy at some point or another. You can't, like, hide your feelings or anything. Because sometimes, like, the person doesn't even know that you have feelings for them. Because I feel like there's somebody else that you're in love with, but you just want to get out of your current relationship because it's boring and it's with a person that's kind of really a stickler for shit, you know? That's not fun. I've had a couple boyfriends that are like that, too. They're sticklers. Like, where were you? I was talking to my friend. What? Um, but yeah. I always hate people that are constantly, you know, asking me questions. Like, they don't trust me. Alright, anyway. So, there's a lesson here that you will learn this week. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is in reverse, unfortunately. So, lies revealed, end of playing games, dropping pretension. Great. Fine. Um, anyway. But yeah, with me, I hate pretension. I hate just, oh, hi, how are you? What do you like to do? Everybody likes to do the same shit. Fuck, have sex probably not get pregnant because nobody wants that obligation and maybe eat dinner it's like okay nobody wants to die alone period <laughs> let's break the fucking pretension oh my god okay anyway number six is the gift that you're going to give yourself and it's going to be the strength card the strength card is um in reverse. Holy shit. Okay, I didn't even know I, I was in character. Alright, so giving up yourself for the benefit of other people trying to knock you down, self-doubt, weakness, insecurity, willingness to accept less than you deserve. So you're you're probably humbling yourself. Uh, or you're allowing other people to take over your life and make you miserable. Um, but, you know, it's, it's either or. Like, I don't know. Some, some Virgos allow other people's criticism to take over their lives and then they live their lives that way. Because they believe that that's how they should act or whatever. And then the other Virgos, they just don't give a shit. You know, and when you don't give a shit, it's easy to offend people, which is funny, hilarious, and also kind of a little bit of an asshole thing to do. But depending on what the joke is, uh, it could be pretty funny. But, um, yeah, with Virgos, I see them more as an independent energy, and some people are like, what? But yeah, independent energy and the fact of when they're earning money, they're independent. When they're not earning money, they're more, more codependent on other people. So, you know, it, it could be a bit of that, too. So, you're bored with routine. So, you're getting into, like, a Sagittarius energy. You might have Sagittarius in your chart somewhere. Probably either Jupiter or Moon sign or a Rising sign. So... Take a look at your birth charts. Um, yeah, I've I've talked to a lot of people. Usually, if they're bored with routine, they usually have Sagittarius. Or they do not have a strong 10th house. Or they don't have a 10th house at all. They could also... Let's see. I have notes all over my walls, so give me a second. Um... See. Sometimes I can't even read my own handwriting. All right, so 
it's either you don't have a strong 10th house or you don't have a strong 5th house because people that don't have 5th houses are easily bored. They don't enjoy anything, so you could be dealing with that, too. Anyway, um, Virgo, it seems like a lot of things are changing in your life and you're finally getting to know yourself well enough to know what you want and what you don't want out of a relationship, life, other things like that. And you're probably getting a little bit either A, sarcastic, or B, like me, kind of self-absorbed in your own crap. But, um, yeah, I feel like there's kind of like a, 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 a big eureka moment coming where you're like, I want this type of person so then I can focus on my work and I can, you know, focus on family. Um, so it's, it's kind of like trying to find your uh, equilibrium of balance. So, like, you want somebody that gives to you and you give back to them type of relationship. Alright, if you work a stressful job, you want your person to uh, cook and clean and do housework. If you're kind of the one that likes organization and stuff, you kind of want your partner to be more of the breadwinner for whatever reason. So depending on what scale you're on or how you view relationships, that's kind of what it is. You know what I mean? And I feel that energy with a lot of Virgos nowadays. It's it's a kind of a weird shift, but I think you're kind of getting what you want. Um... So it's either on the breadwinner, which is Virgo, wanting somebody to take care of housework and dinner and stuff like that, or, you know, just just have a job in the first place. I feel like it doesn't have to be, like, a crazy job. It could be, like, delivering pizzas. But you want somebody that, that has equal responsibility. And then, on the other hand, there's Virgo that loves to take over housework and do their own thing. Maybe they work from home. And then their partner works out in the world and bring ho brings home the bacon, as it were. So it depends on what scale you're working with. But I do feel like it's getting down to the point of what you want. A lot of Virgos don't know what they want until they go like into like the three or the five relationship mark. So I feel like you might might be in the third relationship of your life, or the fifth, or maybe the sixteenth. But um, yeah, you're finally getting to what you can handle and what you're looking for. Okay, like you can handle crazy, you can handle partier, but you need somebody who's like, oh, I have to be at work at like six. Like you want that dependability, but also have somebody who's fun. Um, anyway. So, like I say, um, <laughs> life is a journey, and, you know, you need to find out where you're going and why and what you want. But, um, yeah, it's been a weird week, I must say. So, you know, as long as you know where you're going, you know what you want, and you can fulfill what you want for a long term I feel like it would be fine. It's just, you both have to kind of come to an equal understanding of what each other wants and what each other doesn't want to talk about and other things like that. Like, as far as I'm concerned, I don't want to talk about my fin finances. It's nobody's business but mine because I'm not sharing shit with anybody. But as far as <laughs> everything else is concerned, we can talk about that. But, um... Yeah, I I kind of have um like different different things. Anybody touches my money, I'll go ballistic and try to kill somebody. But um maybe you're like that too where you don't want people touching your money. But um yeah, you kind of have to find out where your boundaries are too, Virgo. I keep looking at like my garden lands uh, thing that I got from Pikes. Pikes does like these land plots. So you're going to have to find out where your boundaries are. Um, I have stuff around my room to distract myself in readings. So if my attention's drawn somewhere, 
I kind of know what you're kind of going through and what you're about. So there's going to have to be strict boundaries in your relationships. All right, Virgo? So think about what boundaries you don't want people crossing. And if they cross it, you know it's not the relationship for you. Okay? Because some people just want to meddle or they want to, like, you know, poke the bear or test the boundaries of that. So you don't want that. Anyway, I will see you in the next reading. I will be doing some other work. I'm kind of distracted myself. I'm trying to figure out this thing with YouTube and all this other crap. But yeah, I kind of want my channel monetized again because that would be great. Um, you know. But if not, I'm going to have to figure out something else. Pain in the ass. Anyway, later Virgo.